And now for our weekly look at legal issues in the news with our in-house legal expert, attorney Tom Olson. This is Olson on Law. Al Inspector here, and every Tuesday and Thursday at this time, we do bring you Olson on Law with veteran Orlando attorney Tom Olson. Good Tuesday morning, Tom. Good morning, Alan and crew and WFLA listeners. So we're talking about wills, Tom, and uh, how and when you can make changes maybe on your own. So say I have a will, which I do, Tom. Could I just uh, take it out and uh, whip out a Sharpie and just willy-nilly start making changes? Alan, years ago, I did a will for a lady, and she left $1,000 to each one of her grandkids. A couple years later, she pulled out her will. She crossed off $1,000. She put $2,000. She initialed that change, and then later she came to me, see me. She said, Tom, that would have been okay, wouldn't it? And I said, no, any change to the body of your will must be done with the same formality as when you signed it, meaning there'd be at least two witnesses to that change. Yeah, she should have called you first. Okay, but uh, apparently, Tom, there are some changes you can make to your will without witnesses or even an, an attorney, correct? That's right. Florida law allows you to make reference to a separate handwritten list disposing of personal property, things like guns, jewelry, coin collections, and cars. And so the beauty of that list is you can add or subtract from it any time that you want to without any witnesses or notary. And remember, it's limited to personal property only, no cash, no real estate. It's good to know for all the guns and jewelry I have laying around my condo. <laughs> now, you've talked before, Tom, about how often kids argue with each other when mom and dad pass away. I suppose a list like that could help them avoid some arguments. Yeah, usually mom only has one wedding ring, and guess what? All the kids want it. So if on this list, she'll name which child gets that wedding ring, but she tries to even things up with the other kids, she's going to help them to avoid arguments when she passes away. All right. If you'd like to avoid arguments and you have any other questions about legal matters, Tom will be happy to answer them on the Olson on Law Show. That is heard Saturdays, 10 a.m. on our sister station, 96.9 The Game. And just a reminder, Tom and I do the Tuesday and Thursday morning segments on Zoom you can watch the video live or later on Twitter and Facebook. Tom, thanks very much. We will see you, Thank you Alan. Thursday morning. And remember, for all of your legal needs, call the Olson Law Group in Orlando.